For all installations, it is imperative to set a reference on the RP460 to ensure accurate DB loss readings. Before setting a reference, make sure you have your DLS355 light source, your 1 meter yellow jumper cable with SC and LC ends, and your RP460 power meter. The SC end of your yellow jumper will be inserted into the DLS355, and the LC end of the jumper will be inserted into the RP460. Your full setup should look like this. When both ends of your yellow jumper are inserted into the adapters on the DLS355 and the RP460, you can power both units on. Make sure both units are set to the correct wavelength for your build by pressing the wavelength key until you reach the desired wavelength. If you are unsure of the required wavelength, ask your construction manager or consult your build documentation. To set a reference, the RP460 needs to be in DBM mode. To switch to DBM mode, press the DB DBM key on the RP460 for one second. Your reading on the RP460 should be between negative 3 and negative 5 dBm. If your reading is not in this range, clean and reseat all connectors and try again. With your reading between negative 3 and negative 5 dBm, you can now set your reference by holding the dB dBm key for 4 seconds until you hear a second, slightly longer beep. You should now have a reading of 0 dB on your screen. Fluctuations of 0.05 dB in either direction are normal, but if the reading fluctuates much more than that, you will have to clean your connectors and try again. With your RP460 holding a steady reading in dB mode, you can now disconnect it from the jumper, put a protective cap on the fiber end, and send the DLS355 with jumper attached to the top of the tower to begin loss testing. Find out more at Bicom's website.